What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, we're going to be going over the Aspire Breeze NXT. Big question is, is this better than the OG? Make sure you watch the whole review. Find out exactly what I think. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. So here's the pod, really, really nice paint job on it. It is a little schmutzy, all right? So you gotta be aware of that, but the candy apple red on this thing is just gorgeous. Here's your fill port right here, so you don't have to take the pod out in order to fill. This is your micro USB charging port right there. On the back, you got some Breeze NXT branding. Love this little cutout here, man, because your finger fits so nice in there. It just, it's beautiful when you hold it, man. Really, really nice job on that. Here's your adjustable airflow wheel right here. I wish these grooves were a little, you know, rougher or deeper so I could get my finger in there better, but it's pretty easy to adjust the airflow. That's a nitpick, but I got to point it out. There is your fire button right there. Now you can push to fire or you can draw the vape. This is dual activated. Either hit the fire button or draw on it. Either way will activate it. Nice job on that. There's the bottom part of the mod. You got some venting there for the battery. Just overall, a really nice looking mod. Now, going to the top part right here, that's your draw piece right there. Very, very comfortable. You can get a really nice seal on that piece. I like it a lot. Wanted to give you a size comparison and show it next to two very popular pod systems. This is the Smoke Miko and this is the Trinity Alpha. The Trinity Alpha is kind of like in that Lost Vape Orion form factor. You can see much taller than the Miko, right? But much, much more capacity, much better battery life. And here it is next to the Trinity Alpha. Very, very similar in size. Not much of a difference. A little bit skinnier. The Breeze is, okay? but very, very similar as far as the feel in the hand goes. This one feels a little curvier, a little smoother. This one's a little squarer in the hand. You have this little roughness over here in order to get a grip and pull the pod out. Okay, now check this out. Look at that. Look how nice and clear that is. Nice job on that, Aspire. This thing holds a whopping 5 mLs of juice. That's right, you heard me correctly. 5 mLs. Awesome, awesome job. There's the fill port right there, like I showed you. If you want to fill it, you pop it open just like that. It stays attached. Nice big fill port. No problem letting the air escape. Once you're done filling it, you pop it shut. It's been very dry. This coil, right, this actually pulls out. I don't want to pull it out because I have juice in there, and the juice will go all over the place, all right? But it just pulls out very much like a Nord type of coil. I'll show you the spare down below. And then in order to replace it, you just pop one right in there. There's no screw in. It's all done by O-rings. It's held in place. It's really nice and tight. I've had no leaking issues whatsoever. You do have this little gold plated pin right here. That's the part that's gonna be attached to these two pins right here when you push the pot in and that's gonna fire your coil. I wanted to show you something interesting here. See these two tubes right here, here and here in the corners? That's your airflow. Those are your two gold-plated contacts, okay? Of course, the contacts are going to make contact with this part of your coil, right? But here's something interesting. See, the, see those two little holes right there? That's where those tubes go into, and that's where you get your airflow from. Really nice idea. I kind of like that, man. Kind of different. It really is. Once you put your pod in, you can see... It goes in nice and sturdy. It don't move, man. It doesn't move. Nice. I like the way they did that. I like the little grips they put here in order to grab it and pull it out. Now, of course, very simple operation on this. Five clicks, flashes to let you know it's on, okay? If you hit the fire button, you can fire it that way or you can draw on it to activate it. But if you hit the fire button, you'll see it's blue. The blue light means I'm between 3.5 and 3.8 volts. The, if this was green, it would mean I'm above 3.8 volts. If it was red, it would mean I'm below 3.5 volts. Now this thing's got a lot of power because it's basically always in bypass mode, 
which means you're always getting the most you can out of the battery at any given point. So that's kind of cool. Some people are going to wish it had some adjustable power because they're not going to be used to a pod system that has this type of kick to it. Check out this bullshit. Notice I'm not touching the button, right? Did you see that? It auto fires. Also included in the packaging, you get an Aspire Breeze NXT user manual. You get a warranty center card. You get a spare coil that we're going to go over in more detail in a second. You get a dust and debris cover that goes over the mouthpiece. And you also get a micro USB cable. Here's how the cover works. You just pop it on like that and you're all protected in case you put this in a bag or a pocket. All right, I wish it did stay attached somehow. It does not. I know I'm gonna wind up losing it, so I don't even bother using it. I've been keeping it in the box. Here's the coil we're talking about. This is the same one that I have installed. You notice it's got this little platform here, okay? So this doesn't come off the platform. You just push it in just like that into the pod. Okay, like I said, same one that I'm running right now. This is the 0.8 ohm mesh coil, good for 15 to 20 watts. If you look down at right there, you can see the mesh inside. Same one that I actually have in the pod. Very, very flavorful. One last look around it. This little beauty. All right, insiders, let's go over the cons and the pros. First con is going to be that dust cover, man. I wish they found a way to like attach it onto the bottom or something like that. I know I'm going to lose that thing. It's no big deal. I just like when they have a dust cover, if it can stay attached. It's got a beautiful paint job, but man, this thing is a fingerprint magnet. That's a con. Another con is too bad this doesn't have type C charging. I would have liked to have seen that. I think most mods going forward should have type C charging. It's faster and more efficient. And the last con is going to be a huge con, man. I can't let it pass. You know, I spoke to Aspire about the auto fire and look at that. I turn it upside down and it auto fires. Have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, look, that's absolutely ridiculous. That is unacceptable. Now, when I spoke to Aspire, they said that the retail versions, it's going to be fixed in. They blamed it on those two airflow holes that I showed you in the down low. They said when juice gets in there, it auto fires. I kind of find that hard to believe because I've had no leaking on this. I've seen no residue in there. I don't know how juice would have gotten in there because mine has been dry. But either way, turning it upside down and having it auto fire is unacceptable. And it's also one of the reasons I do not do out-of-the-box reviews. So far, I haven't seen anybody else that has caught this, all right? I'm not bragging or anything. I'm just saying it's why I don't do out-of-the-box reviews because I didn't catch this until about a week or, week or so. I've had this about, yeah, maybe I've had it about two weeks. I caught this about seven days into it. I, you know, I grabbed it off the table. It turned upside down, and it auto-fired. And I was like, what the hell is that? It's a huge con. Hopefully, Aspire fixes it. You know, they're a pretty good company when it comes to stuff like that. I've known them to always be an honorable company. I'm hoping they fix the retail version. But because of this con, I cannot recommend this. I'm still going to go over the pros. You could watch the pros and think about it as if it didn't have that auto fire problem and hopefully they come out and say they fixed it i'd really like them to send me a fixed version of this so i can show you that they did fix it but with all that said and done let's go over the pros okay because it does have a lot of pros to it it's a damn shame that this thing auto fires first pro is going to be the drawer on this is nice and smooth i love it the way they did the adjustable airflow putting it on the outside extremely well thought out Awesome job, Aspire. I like the paint job on this thing, man. That candy apple red is drop dead gorgeous. I love the contours on this mod, the way your finger kind of slides into that little notch. It's got nice curves to it. It just feels great in the hand. Capacity on this, man, 5.4 mLs, that's a win. It's got swappable coils. Push button or auto draw. Subtle branding, nice build quality, great battery life. I love, love, love that easy side fill. I think this is a really nice beginner kit. 
This is great for someone looking to kick the habit to get off of cigarettes. It's easy to use. You, you auto draw or you hit the button, you fill it up and you vape. I think it's great for beginners. I'm getting great flavor off this thing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Just a nice, powerful, hard hitting, saturated, flavorful vape. I'm not going to lie, man. I've been enjoying the hell out of this mod. And my other pro has got to be, so far, it's been very dry. I have had no leaking on the inside. Now, inside, as you saw all my pros on this, I love this mod. I just wanted to do a quick cut in insiders, okay? I want to show you something. I did this video before, like a day or two before I went to ECC in California, all right? They gave me a new one, holding it upside down it doesn't fire like the one that I showed you in the video. And the reason I wanted to do this cut in is because you guys know, I'm always honest with you guys. I'm always honest with my subs. Now, so far, I haven't seen anybody else have the auto fire problem I had. So I'm thinking it's a one-off problem. But I will tell you this, when I was at ECC, I saw the owner of Aspire. I approached him about it because he knows me. We spoke about it. He was extremely upset when I showed him the video of me holding it upside down and it auto firing. I mean, I think I ruined the poor guy's day. He was so upset that he tracked me down the next day at ECC and the guy, I, I felt bad for him. I actually felt bad telling him because he was legitimately upset. And he's like, listen, Jack, I did a little bit of research. You know, this has happened a couple of times. It's not something that's prevalent. It's not something that's happening across the whole line, but I did call China. I did speak to them and they're on the stick and they're fixing it. They're thinking they can fix it with some type of screen inside or something like that for, from where the airflow is coming from. He thinks that's the problem. He thinks that somehow juice got in there and that that's what's making it auto fire. But he assured me that they're working on the problem and going forward, it is not going to be an issue. And I gotta say, man, you know, this guy really seemed sincere. He really seemed to care about our community. And it really bothered him that something like that happened to me. And you want to know something? I got to give a guy in a company like that props. Because, you know, I can't tell you how many companies stop sending me stuff when I give them an honest, fair review and they don't like what I say. I mean, let, let's take you well, for instance, right? You all just stop sending me stuff because they were upset at my block 22 review where I killed them for having the charge port right below, you know, the 510 connection. They called me up. They were upset. You know, they, they just stopped sending me stuff. This guy is not like that, man. There are other companies. Hell Vape won't send me anything because of my DR uh, written review over three years ago, okay? There are other companies like that. I, I, could, I can't name them all off the top of my head, but the point is this guy is not like that. He was genuinely concerned and he's genuinely looking to fix whatever minor issue this might be. Because of his sincerity, when he tells me this is not happening a lot, it's a, it's a very you know unusual occurrence, but they have seen it happen before, I gotta believe the guy and I gotta take him on his word because of the way he seemed so sincere to me. So I just wanted to put that in this video. I just want you guys to be aware. Let's go over some of the specs on the Aspire Breeze NXT kit. It is an auto draw or push the button to vape. It has a 1000 milliamp hour battery, easy side fill compartment. It holds 5.4 mLs of liquid. It has replaceable coils. You get two in the kit. They are 0.8 ohm mesh coils. It measures in at 96 by 35 by 20.5 millimeters. It has adjustable airflow. There is an LED battery indicator. When it is green, you are 3.8 volts or above. When it's blue, you're at 3.5 to 3.8 volts. And when it's red, you're below 3.5 volts. Protections include auto cutoff, short circuit, low voltage, overcharge, and overheat protection. It's available in black, white, and red. I'd like to thank Aspire for sending this one my way for this review. 
Thanks for watching the video, insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape So Hard, the FDA Wanna Find Me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.